Today it's hard for us to imagine life without photography. The act of viewing photographic images informs us who we are by playing a role in how we remember the past, the way we feel about events in the world, and people of the world, and they even inform the way we value ourself and those around us. To us, photographs are more than images. They're part of our value and belief system. But how did the invention of photography begin? Frequently, people point to the year 1839 as the moment that photography was invented. However, that's far from true. The popularity of, photo of photographic processes that flourished in the West after 1839 has roots that stretch back hundreds and hundreds of years. The discovery, in fact, that refracted light from nature can project an upside-down, accurate representation of a scene in a darkened room through a small, lens-free hole was recorded as early as the 5th century BC by Chinese philosopher Mo Ti. Throughout centuries of global optical experimentation with images like that, devices began to be constructed to facilitate the representation of nature through a pinhole in the wall of a darkened chamber or room. In Italy, the historical period known as the Renaissance brought about a significant cultural shift that began to place an emphasis on representing the appearance of objects in the natural world rather than creating godly images that symbolized another world which was popular in the Middle Ages. This new way of thinking placed humans at the center as thinkers and creators and yielded a systematic and prescribed method for organizing three-dimensional space on a two-dimensional surface known as linear perspective. The drawing that you see here was made using linear perspective. We can reveal its presence by tracing some of the parallel lines, known as orthogonals, that appear to recede at a single vanishing point on the horizon line. By the third decade of the 15th century, artists like Masaccio were applying linear perspective to even the most holy subject matters, which was a sharp turn from the flat spatial representations of artwork made in the Middle Ages. This preparatory sketch by Leonardo da Vinci, made for a painting that was never actually finished, reveals that Leonardo's artistic skill also was firmly grounded in understanding the optical and mathematical science of linear perspective, which was necessary to reproduce a, the illusion of a 3D space on a flat surface, like a painting. Renaissance artists certainly coveted devices like the camera obscura to assist them in the reproductions of the world around them. And imagining an artist tracing a scene like this one from a camera obscura in preparation for a prized commission from a wealthy patron really helps to bring the history of the visual arts to life. And the camera obscura, that invention that was based on observations of light made back as early as the 5th century BC, is really no different from the cameras that were used after 1839. A camera is, after all, just a dark box with a small hole in it. So if cameras had been around for centuries, what is the invention of photography? Well, it has more to do with the passion to fix the fleeting images from nature, those same images that appeared within a camera obscura or on the surface of an artist's paper while using a device like the camera lucida shown here. Additionally, industrialization resulted in an increased wealth in the middle class through much of Europe and the U.S. This led to an increased demand for portraits. The drive to find a method to fix and reproduce those fleeting images created by optical devices was widespread by 1820. Henry Fox Talbot wrote in his journal while gazing out at beautiful Lake Como in Italy, how charming would it be if it were possible to cause these natural images to imprint themselves durably. The 1820s and 1830s were decades bursting with experimentation and innovation. Driven by first 
the desire to fix nature and secondly to reproduce her likeness for the masses. And within that time period many inventions yielded success. Most inventions were collaborations rather than products of individual geniuses as history often suggests. Each had a unique approach, each had a unique name. But all are driven by the same passion and resulted in a similar outcome. And within the story of photography's origins is evidence of an immediate interest in exploring the medium's potential for something more, something beyond just a representation of a scene from the world. This photograph here by Hippolyte Bayer was created to communicate a message. What is that message? And what lessons can we take away from it about the history of photography, the communication potential of the photographic image, the nature of invention, and the writing of history?